Hey guys, I am out today with Matthew Lurch. Yes, he is one of mine. And Donovan Mowat. He is a great photographer, videographer, and we are out on a hike looking for deer. Got him. I wonder if I can turn on the animal eye detect and like catch a really sharp portrait of his eyeball. So Don is using the 24 to 70 f 2.8. Oh, no, this one, this one's a 7200. Yeah, oh, sorry. 24 to 70 is in my bag. 70 to 200 f 2.8. I, I misunderstood the question. I lied to her. I'm sorry. <laughs> G Master Series. Yes. From Sony, and I can't wait to see this image. He's got a frog here in the bushes and capturing a beautiful portrait of his eyeball right now he's and getting a portrait of the eyeball the image comes through now he can focus closer with this lens than i can with my 70 to 300. and then we'll go into crop mode on it and really where'd you go bud where'd you go so crop mode gives me a 1.5 times multiplication of the focal length I'm at. So I'm at 200 times 1.5. And this shot looks so much different than the one just at 200. I'm like really in on his face now. And the eye detect is working. It's a little dark, but you can definitely see the frog in there. And when I blow that up, it's gonna be super sharp. That's as close as I can get to a macro shot. I don't have a 90 mil yet. <laughs> nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Thanks for posing for us, okay? Right um, favorite. That's hard. <laughs> uh, I'll come back to that question. You got me stumped. <laughs> you got me stumped. I'm like, I don't know how to answer that. There is a very busy highway right beside the forest and the conservation area that we are hiking through. So the noise is going to be louder than we want for some of the hike. However, it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous place and a gorgeous sunny day. Shrubbery. We're trying to decide which way to go. Yeah. There's like three directions and none of them are really great, but yeah. We're going to make a path. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna pull down my pants in case, like, yeah, I can bugs. How to mention ticks. Oh, oh, those. Oh, huh? now, now you said the magic word. That's now, now I'm done with this path. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go. Yeah, there's, there's all sorts of ticks. Have you?
So we're just stopping and taking images along the way. Raspberries, bushes, we're looking for deer, but haven't yet find, found any deer. We found frogs, we found snakes, <laughs> raspberries, and it's an absolutely beautiful day. Matthew is taking pictures with his DSi, which is kind of cool. Now we're talking retro, very low pixel camera, but it's totally cool. Um, oh. It's very low. <laughs> We're having fun. That's the trick, right? Get out, take whatever gear you have, whatever gear you love, and just go out and enjoy it and take some pictures. Donovan's got his A7 III Sony with a bunch of different, with a bunch of different lenses, a 24 to 70 on it now, and we are exploring. It doesn't focus. It doesn't have a focus option. <laughs> <laughs> Makes it easier for me. Because you don't have to worry about focus. Yeah. That's right. I'll have to focus on focus. <laughs> This summer I'll be by your side I wonder that you can describe switch to a macro lens. Why? Why not? I always find creativity works best if you just go with what your feeling is. And you're feeling macro. I go around and around until every sound is a symphony from my heart.
found our way out of the forest. It is really hot in the sunshine. We're heading back now. For the macro photography, I was at ISO 800 if the subject was moving. So a flower that was slightly moving in the breeze when you're using a macro lens, is really the movement is really amplified. So ISO 800, depending on the light, uh, was enough to kind of stop the movement. If it was something that wasn't moving, like one caterpillar I found or a mushroom, then right back down to ISO 50, 30 second exposure, just to get that large depth of field. Got it. I got some sweet ones. Yeah, I'll see. Yeah. Got a really good one. Yeah, so you can you can definitely see I uh, I took the shot crop and he's pretty sharp all the way in. He's a little bit fuzzy because again, uh, that's a dragonfly. And we're shooting at 200 with the crop. Uh, so that's 350 millimeters. But uh, that's a super cool shot. I'm glad that I got one from the side. I'm like, that's probably as close as I'm gonna get to anything macro photography related because I don't have a macro lens. So I, I'm, I'm super glad that. He's been saying stuff for so long. Has he? Yeah, he's still there. Yeah, where is he? He's, he's literally. Bye guys, <laughs> have a good day. Later. <laughs>